All right, you can see me now start putting the screws in here. We got it all in to its groove now. We're gonna go and start screwing it in. And you're gonna be able to see me screw all its screws in. So here we go, start from the first one. And you can use a Phillips on them because they're pretty much, they have a Phillips uh, indent on them. But I just decided to keep it simple and just use my eight millimeter socket like I've been doing. And once you screw them, you're starting to see how it falls into its place. It starts pulling on its own and then it brings itself back out flush nicely see you want to make sure that that's the, the same way you have it where it flushes everything needs to be flushed it kind of maybe a little bit warp here and there but not so much you know got that in there got that in there so you can see everything again in real time I'm not I'm not cheating time I'm not fast forwarding I'm not making it any faster for you because that way you can see all the steps and not miss anything. And if you need to know the parts number for the parts I use, I'll put the description on below. You can even follow the package with me. I'll, I'll show you the package it came out of. So you can see if it's uh, you know, the same. Because I sometimes watch videos and I'm like, what part is it? So I need to know. So I'll make sure I'll, I'll record the package too so you can match it with the one that you're buying. Either from our website or anywhere. Here we go. Now I just need to go get the... All the screws here. Again, this one is going to come up from here. There we go. Okay, we got that tightened down now. Okay, so all this tightened down. Everything's looking really nice. Okay, we got this one now. Again, this is not going to close so securely. Keep in mind again, it's only because the fact is that um, it's a larger cylinder head. Okay, we barely can get this one closed. This one we'll probably won't be able to screw in yet until we modify that one. So you can actually do this yourself and just kind of give it a little cut here and there and see if it fits in. And once it fits in, you can go and put back the screw here. Okay, we're gonna go and put this last one in here. It's a little longer. It should reach. All right. Everything's going beautifully. We got our vent back in there now. You can reattach your your um, your uh, you know hose here for the cylinder valve cover. It just pretty much takes out the debris. There we go. Just kind of put it back in, and then you can use your There we go. You can use your needle nose pliers to pinch this thing in there and squeeze it right in. If you do it by hand, it's a little bit more harder, but you can do it by hand. Oh, you can see me, I'm pinching it. And there you go. Just move it back in there. It's kind of a this little C clamp there. There you go. I kind of like to use this. I face it down though, that way, not too much poking forward. There we go, kind of nicely put it downward a little bit. Enough for you to grab it if you want to. You can twist by hand now. And it just locks into its own place here. You can see there's little snaps here put in there. So and then it really goes to the other end to your other parts of your bikes. That you'll probably be setting it back in and we'll throw the engine back in. But again, this engine is going to be dismantled again for our next video. We're going to show you how to pretty much take a one uh, 71 cc big board or even your original 150 cc and turn it into with the kit of course the SSPG uh, power kit uh, they actually have one with the oil cooler or you can get the extra oil cooler differently yeah so here we go